Hello everybody, I'm your host Andre and in today's tutorial I will present you how to mount the Y-axis. So for the Y-axis we'll need a tensioner, a motor, a end sensor and a belt. So we'll start with the tensioner. For the tensioner we'll need three acrylic parts, two of these, one of these, one M5 uh, 25mm screw and then two M3 25mm screws. This is just for the beginning. Now we'll take one of these and put the big screw to the big hole and the other two screws to the little hole. Now we'll take two M5 shins, six M3 shins, and also two single rollers. Now we'll take one M5 shin and put it through the M5 screw. Then we take the two single rollers and put them through the screw. And then we'll take the last big shin and put it through the big screw. Yeah. Now we'll take three M3 shins and put them through one of these screws. And then the same for the other screw. We'll take three shins and put them right here. Now we need an M3 30 millimeter screw and this part. And now we take the screw and put it through this hole right here. Like this. Okay, now we take this part that we just assembled and put it through these screws, like this. Now we take six more M3 shins and put them through the screws. One, two, three here, and another three on this other side. Now we'll take this part, put it over, and we'll take some nuts. So uh, this is how it should look like. We tied up the screws. And now we see if it fits in place. So now we take the frame and see if it fits right here. So it fits pretty good, but now we must take a spring and put it through this M330 millimeter screw. And now we'll try again to put this in place. So now we need to take a flange nut and screw the M330 millimeters. Now let's assemble the Y-X motor. So for this we need this part, a motor, and 
and uh, 4 and 10 M3 10 mm screws. So now uh, you gotta watch out because as you can see this part it's a bit longer than this so this part must be uh, under like this and uh, we also must uh, assemble the motor on the left side of this part so the motor will come something like this and so as you can see now we'll take the screws and mount them in place Uh, now we need to mount a pulley so uh, the, it must be a little distance between the pulley and the motor so we need a spacer and we we'll use as a spacer this little part so we we'll put it like this and then we we'll take the pulley and uh, we we'll put it like this on the screw like this not like this because otherwise it won't be aligned with the tensioner so uh, and now we must screw it in place now we we'll need uh, two M360 millimeters screws and two M3 nuts so now we need to mount the motor in place For the end switch we need this acrylic part and uh, the end switch actually, surprisingly. So, And we also need two M3 12mm screws and two M3 nuts. Now let's assemble it. So we'll take this acrylic part and the switch and we put it like this as you can see now we take one screw and put it through this hole and we'll fix it in place now we'll take the other screw and put it Now we'll fix them in place. And the other. Now let's mount it. We also need an M3 60mm screw and an M3 nut. Now we need to mount the Y-axis belts. So I have already measured it and coated it, and uh, it must be 75 centimeters or 29.5 inches. So now I will mount it. Put it right here. Through the tensioner. Now through this hole. And the motor. put it again here
Now we must tension it. So we must screw this a bit more so that the belt will be tensioned. So this is how you mount the Y axis. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below and please subscribe. I will see you in the next tutorial. Have a nice day.